Secret versus OG should be a fun series. We've got some great drafts coming out from both teams. OG whipping out the good old Invoker. That's what she said, play it. They're very chill close to the tower. Yeah, okay, this top lane, Anna. He's gonna get that farm. Inside bottom. They're gonna try for it. Stun. Into the light strike. Stacking up the poison onto Seb. They'll dive a few hits. With the poison hits enough, they'll get that kill. It's a risky lane. This is scary. Three heroes. They'll get first blood. All right. A bit, bit difficult here. <laughs> and now Boots even finished up there for Yapsor too. So just keeping that pressure oh, on. Oh, no, them. Seb. And that boot pick up from Yapsor allowing him to get range. just in range for that light strike. Seb trying to surge away. All right. Puppy needs the snipe. Oh, he oh, got it. Oh, he got it. That, oh, he didn't do it. 12 HP. No, he did do it. Yapsor got the right click in. Dude, the boot's paying off big time. Okay, solid rotation though for at least getting a return kill there. Uh, onto Jerax. And two deaths on Seb already on this bottom lane. Says the and, power uh, of this tri lane from Secret. It's the walk of shame. Right. It's, uh, at least he's level two. I was gonna say, at least he's got the surge. <laughs> you know, he can go for a bit of a sprint for some of the distance. Oh, mid lane. <sighs> they almost. Oh, he actually gets he got him. The oh, solo. Oh, oh, oh. Thompson went a oh, bit too deep. Mid one outplay with the mid gyrocopter. Beautiful play there. Gives them the respect tip there, but at the same time, obviously, we get the kill on the top. And look at that. The, the anime is out as well. That's when you know it's going to get real. Oh, meanwhile, even... he returns to the lane, and they want to put the pressure right back on. Because they've got Puppy lurking. Oh. He's coming in. Look at Midpoint. Yeah, he's just taunting, and teasing with the, the edge of his life. The bait setup's there. Thompson, he's going to go for the tornado. But Midpoint, he's just moving in on oh this. Midpoint, uh, he's got the fair fire. He knows he's safe. The missile's out. Thompson, he's gone. It redirects, even it's Sokshka, make sure the puppy's able to walk safely out of there. This mid lane, this mid one gyro. Still has about half duration left too, so if uh, if Seb tries to like hide in these trees or anything here, might just go down. Luckily, puppy's too far at the moment for them to get the secure, I think. Charge into the mid lane. See if they can get mid one, and they go at the same time, Seb. Falling low, they're chasing him down. Seb's in a lot of trouble, but they get the tornado onto mid one. They will get that one, but Seb is running. He can run, but he cannot hide. Puppy just stacking up the poisons again, Seb. To stop any sort of follow-up combo onto the Invokers, Topson will be fine. Gets himself away, but Puppy in just in time to keep mid one alive. Top lane, Anna. Starting to poke away at Zai. Get those Essence shift, shift stacks built up. Vision's going to be given on with the charge. Jeez, Zai tries Jerex. to TP out, but he's not getting out of this one. Zai's gone. And Anna's game continues to look very good on the top lane slot. Right. This is absolutely a perfect scenario for him. He is so far ahead yep. in terms of the net worth right now. And the art builds perfect. Gets away with the Midas. Queuing up the defusal, and once he gets that, he's going to be a huge nightmare for any members of Secret. And there's the charger for Jerax on top of Puppy. Another bash he comes through as well oh, as Mipon tipping in, charge in Jerax with the control as he bashes past the two of them. They get the pick off, and it goes to the Shadow Dance TP, and he's out of there. They'll get the kill, they'll get out. The same time down bottom, Nisha was able to finish off Seb. Uh, for Thompson too, so he's going to be that big setup. You know, these tornadoes are going to be super helpful for your Jakiro, and you've already seen how good Jerax is at, at like angling these charges, like with that rotation in for mid one to keep the control to help Ana stay alive. I will see charge. He's got the ulti. Does have the control mid one? Hasn't got the cooldown out yet. Now he managed to find it, but Ana's on top of him. Another bash too. Mid one's in trouble. He's just straight up dead. They'll get the kill. Disruption. Actually going to end up saving Ana from the homing missile. Roots out from Zai. Nisha's has turned up as well. They're trying to turn it around, but Thompson's in. There's the tornado set up onto Zai. Ana's on him as well. Starting to get those essence shift stacks built up. Zai's in trouble. The cold stab too. Thompson has the control. Doesn't have the damage. Zai will be able to get far enough away. Ana now popping the shadow dance. What target does he want to go for? Looks like he's just trying to get his way out of here. The pounce will be blocked by Nisha. Nisha, they'll punish Anna, they'll catch him out as he's unable to get himself out of the three of the heroes surrounding him. And then just made his way into the mid. Now he's still scouting around here as he sees mid one. Are these movements and mid one? He's got to be careful how far he steps up. They're in with the combo straight away. Mid one has the wall drop down upon him. There's no escape for this gyro. Yeah, this surged spear breaker, of course. Uh, we haven't seen it too much this game, honestly, because Jarek's widely been playing uh, kind of on the other side of the map. Uh, from Seb, but now back together with the Iron Shell, and again, he just goes. They have this deep vision on the Yapsa. There is just no stopping, and look at the speed for the surge. <laughs> Yapsa was unable to read the timing to get the light strike. He was just moving too darn fast. As Jarex dives in, another kill for OG. Yeah, Sashka even trying to kite the spend a little bit here. I think he might be alright. Nisha's got to be careful. He's out of mana. He's getting cold snapped. Zai does have the route to offer to buy some space for Nisha to get back. Ice Path off the mark, but doesn't matter anyway. They were behind the tier 2.
Yeah, when we talk about this gyrocopter without the IO, um, in the past it's been very aggressive. It, like you're used to seeing this guy diving towers really early on, like tier twos when they're still a tier one sort of a deal. When you have to play the hero like that, and that that's just not mid one's and game. They found him again. Jarex in with the charge. They have the control straight back into the ice path combo. Tops and there's no hope for mid block. He does not have a damage amp. Right? He doesn't really have a save other than disruption. It, it, he has go BKB first. This game is so slow, and now they're just right on the Yapsor. They're just finding kill after kill after kill. Ice path down onto oh, Yapsor. He's back. got mid ones getting in on this one. Can they turn things around? It's going to be a big cooldown onto the two of them. Topson's already getting out. The Ghost Wars stuns out of Jarek's. Topson will fall. Mid one gets the double kill. There'll be a buyback from Seb. Anna's in on the front lines. Wants oh, to punish mid one. Mid one is a dieback. The charge through from Jarek. Anna's got the shadow dance. He's looking towards Sai. He'll get it. He'll pounce down to the safety of the river. And they're out of control. Ana's going to get away with this one with his Midas now back up as well to keep adding up to his total now. He only lost a little bit of gold because of the kills he got, but of course those 40 seconds are definitely going to add up where he's just not hitting creeps whatsoever. So a big loss for him. Only a little bit of XP even gained there. Falling behind his allies here. The surge here, Anna. In onto Yapsor. Time in the dark pact. Lights the Laguna the Blade is going to be thrown out, but it doesn't matter, Anna. That 1600 HP doesn't care, and Puppy, he's TP'd in, but Tops is prepared. There's the tornado set up, charging as well. Puppy's just dead and gone too. OG. Kill after kill after kill. I mean, they're forcing their own tier threes right now. They're going to smoke up and shadow behind mid one. Secret Sunny's sort of powerful core it is Nisha. And, you know, Nisha, he has to get the BKB. Before yeah. he has the BKB, he is pretty oh, useless is in these team fights. They found him. We'll get the God Strength off. Ice Path, Makapari combo comes down. Puppy will save him for now with the defensive disruption. Soshka, he's been left behind. The Roots out, and Yapso should be able to finish off the Dragon. The rest of OG on the retreat. See if those secret can chase anything more. They're into the high ground, up by the Shrine. Looking towards Anna. Anna does have the Shadow Dance to rely on. So should be able to... Play his way out of this. The damage is coming out, but it's not enough as he's got the speed from the surge. Now Thompson with the counter play. Wrap around. Tornado EMP dropped down the wall as well. Splitting up the fight. Puppy being left behind this time. A secret will look to take everybody out of this. And with the ultimate, they will be able to do so. No amount of damage available from OG to get any kill in time. Oh, they see him with the ward though. And they got him. Oh, he's just been left. Yeah. They've got him. Caught him on they the ward. They charge him in. They have this control. He's surrounded. Everybody else got out, but Nisha was still down there. That's a 3k lead for OG. Oh, if he's 2k ahead of the enemy carry, he's probably sometimes a little bit even, even, right? Um, and same thing with a gyrocopter, so. Now Jarex just making space in the bottom lane. He, he's not a, you know, just like a, a nothing kill because he's worth so much at 5, 2, and 11, but he is guaranteeing Roche by doing this. Oh, gets the bulldoze off. Stains resistance is there. Charge will be canceled by the root, though, as he will be surrounded, and they should certainly have the kill here. He'll try his best to hide into the trees, but a homing missile's inbound. No messing around for mid one. Dropping the cooldown upon him as well. They'll get him, but space is there. OG pick up Roshan, and Anna gets that Aegis. Of course, I think those gyros usually have one item done by then, not a, a flat BKB. You know, you like to have a drums or something a, a little bit better. And we'll see how much of a difference it makes in the fights if mid one is able to stand his ground, tops him. And into Kodea by Zai. They do have the Yule set up into the stun. See if they can burst him. Laguna Blade down. Thompson in trouble. He's falling low, but Stokska is there with the backup. Missiles there onto Thompson. Thompson's still in a lot of trouble. There's the stun out upon him. They killed him. The Invoker's dead. Now they'll turn towards Stokska. Roof's going to be popped. They get the vacuum wall combo into the ice path onto both Nisha and Zai. Zai is looking to try and take them out of this. And with that buyback, Aoji want to fight. They're trying their best to bring Topson back into the action. He will get there, but Secret's already out. Yeah, we've seen so many times in these games that big buyback comes out, and then you might lose the fight after. But Underlord, he's a failsafe. He just pops the ulti and says, look, if they want to force another fight right now and think that we can't get out of here, hop on, guys. I'm out. Oh, Hannah's still hunting. It is into the smoke of Secret. Disruption set up from Puppy. Dark Pact has already been used. He's been rooted. The stun's out as well. The chain control isn't enough. No, Anna gets the pounce. Shadow Dance is unavailable for 30 seconds, but the Greaves from Seb keeps Anna safe. It's on the high ground, starting to regen up thanks to the Shadow Dance. And Doji will surely want to keep the aggression up, especially for this next minute and a half, where they do still have the Aegis on Anna. There's the charge in. Found Zai was trying to TP back to base. TP back up is going to be coming in around they're the shrine. Fight him? They're going to try and vacuum Puppy. Ice pass down. It's going to catch the two of them as they TP in. That's the initial one. combo hits. Now Nisha, he will commit the BKB. Turns towards Topson and Jerex. Gets the two man stun. Topson's going to be able to slide away. Now they look straight back towards the space cow. Jerex is dead. Yapsor focused by Anna. Anna's taking the leaner out of the fight. Ice path from Soshka has the to stun the control onto Zai. Anna's surged up. Roots down, but the dark pack removes. He's trying to get to Zai, but Zai healed up by the shrine. He'll survive. Ice path down against Soshka. 
are breaking up the fight. Anna's in with a pounce on top of mid one. Charge through from Jarex as well. Mid one's dead. Zai surrounded the ice pub, slowing him down. In they go. Yule's up into the air, but he cannot get out of this oh, they one. Don't want Anna claims another three dead on secret. They want Puppy. As no Puppy is in, a, in the air, comes back down. Thompson, Anna waiting for him. More permanent essence shifts for the Slark. What a dangerous fight to take a secret. I can't believe they TP'd out for that. And they want a second, at least another tier three they here. They know they can push for it. They know their strength at the moment. OG. That's secret. We're gonna have Puppy back in 25. See how much more OG wanna try and push for. Zai's in, goes for the root setup, but Top's a good angle from the side, gets the two-man tornado, EMP down, Nisha pots the BKB, he has got enough mana to get the God Strength out, but already Jarek straight to the back lines, he's found Yapsor, Yapsor's dead for 45, Nisha leads him with the stun onto Jarek, but again, the control, oh, the, the ice path, the deafening blast, pushes back Nisha, Nisha's dead without buyback, the BKB comes out from Mibble, but he's got nothing to fight with, GG is called, and OG take game one at the best of three against Team Secret. Well, that is not what we were expecting not coming as, in to oh this one. Oh my goodness, I didn't expect it yesterday. You know, OG <laughs> against EG, and then today, there's the man. Sonska. I'll never get tired of that face. That smile. Yeah, thank you very much, you. So, game two, Secret versus OG. Some very different drafts, uh, a yep. lot of excitement. We've got OG sort of going back to the good old Magnus lineups. Which we, yep, sorry, but just keep the man alone. Makes it hard for Anna to to potentially rely on things such as the healing ward. Yeah, Jarek's even smoking from home now, too, just to try and get to this bottom lane as fast as he can, because he wants to be here for the rune fight, but it's not going to be quick enough. And Thompson is here. The Berserk's call won't quite catch on to him. So then it can now turn and get the hits traded back to him. Anna is able to run around and get the bounty rune. See so down bottom now with the Blade Fury. They can try towards Zai. Right. Jarex is here as well with the root, and that will be the setup required for first blood. There you go. The smoke paid off. It was just in time there to help just guarantee there wouldn't be a kill back on the Thompson. So and a secret, not quite sure what to do, it feels like. Like, do you do you mirror the rotations here? Do you want to bring the ember down bottom, or are we just gonna have Zai versus two supports? And it looks like Thompson wants to try and come in and force a kill here. He does have that vision. Zai is starting to farm up the stack. We'll see if they get the toss back onto Yapso. And he goes into the root combo. Perfect follow up there from Jerax. As he catches the two of them, he's going to be able to keep himself alive oh, as well. Nice. Thompson with the setup. Jerax with the perfect follow up. Into the trees means that Thompson can't quite get on top of him for the full spell combo. And meanwhile, Anna does continue to get the space and farm it. Is even that top lane. More open for mid one to continue. And in fact, down bottom, they're going to get in again. As I, this time, yeah, I mean, quite get burst down this time. The the, the tree wasn't quite there from Thompson, so Zai will live. And now Thompson could be in a spot above it. There's four oh, heroes. That was secret. greedy. He tried to go in for that one. Yap, so he's got the six as well. So could build up a, a finger buff here. He's speedy Thompson with that face boost though. And in fact, Anna is able to get the kill on mid one. The two of them moved in. Yep. Him and Seb, I believe, with the RP gets the kill. Secret will find the finger finish off onto Thompson. They'll try and chase Jerex as well. He'll go for the self-false promise. Anyone else heading over here? Soshka is not, is, he's thinking about coming across, but I think they just have to let Jerex go here. As there's no help for the Oracle. Zai gets the dunk down. So you get the two kills down bottom. They will lose mid one top. The chase from OG did continue and Zai. Very close to having Blink Dagger, about 1800 gold towards it. Yeah, and they, they need that, right? Um, some way to uh, kick off these fights and uh, blinking in a little bit easier with an axe when you have the Omni, but Sashka sets up something here for Ana, but it is an Ember. Oh, he's actually got no spirits. Oh, I mean, it, he's he had, dead. He had, no, he had no remnants. Yeah. That, that's not something you that, see too often. No, Mib one. <laughs> I mean, we I mean, talked up as Ember chill. at the start of the game. Almost certainly sort of waiting, hoping potentially for a, a bit of a bait. Maybe if Zai looks to initiate with his own blink. No, not an obvious bait or anything, right? Just the, the Juggernaut sitting here with a healing ward and a tier one. Yeah. Yeah, let's see now it's how it's Zai's still gonna jump forward into this. Ice pass down, Seb's gonna skewer in. This could be a good RP, and it does. Gets the two of them. Anna, he has got the Omni Slash. She's gonna be false promise. A little worried that he wouldn't be able to get it off their Jax, but with that help, it will be allowed to do so. Zai taken Ooh. out. They've already got two. They get mid one as well. As Topson's able to combo him down on the side. Nisha's trying to chase. Topson's still being chased down in the trees by Yapsa, but Topson turns. Couple of hits with the tree. The heal will keep him alive, but no, it's enough. They've popped him down. They've taken three. Topson in, Jay's used, and Nisha will be able to turn and get the kill. OG still trying to chase a little bit. The roots onto Puppy. But Puppy and Nisha keep the distance. Overall, the OG getting three kills 
it was a bait. I mean, you said it, it was a bit of an obvious bait from OG, but Secret effectively still fell for it. Well, I mean, they got the RP up. I actually thought that was going to turn pretty well for Secret, right? But they got a little bit split there. Now they're going to find another kill back, though. So they got Thompson. Now they got Sashka. So it's not a, a total loss here. But, of course, they did lose their Tier 1 tower. So all things still coming out in favor of OG. But uh, considering how that wasn't the most synced up fight from OG, this is looking a little worrisome, honestly, for the next engagement. But um, Nisha didn't die. He got farmed. He's close to a blink dagger. Zai does get the blink jump onto Jerax. A quick dunk follow up. Disarm wasn't quite there in time onto Nisha. Got the mild hit out. Yeah, he's extremely close to blink now. Every one of these assists just adding up. A mid one now in here. The tricor in under the tier one. To see what they can get. But Thompson straight away in with the combo. They're on top of Nisha. Nisha's gone. They jumped the TA. TA's out of the fight. Now with the skewer forward onto the two of them, slowing both sides. And mid one down. Can they escape? They're trying their best to run. Puppy is there. He's going to be able to save one of them. Pops the help out to Zai, but it's not enough. Zai's dead. Mid one's actually jumped back down towards the river. He'll run in, get on top of Thompson. But Anna chases down Puppy. He's cleaned up a triple kill. As Anna just getting funneled with gold after gold. We'll see which one's able to come out on top as both have incredible amounts of farm. So you can have the bigger impact, the Nisha TA or the Anna Jug. As the game goes on, OG starting to have a bit of a look in towards the Roche, but Thompson is in with the jump on the mid one side, just had the follow-up call on to Anna. Blade Fury and Omni Slash are at the availability. There's the GA popped. It's gonna wear off soon though. Zai's caught in place. Seb. Two-man RP locks them down. There's the Omni Slash follow-up. Zai's dead. The rest of Secret now trying to disengage, but Sokska. Ice path laid down. Traps both the supports in the river. Yapsaw's caught out. Puppy's gonna be chased down as well. The Rook flies in from Jarex. The Blade Fury chased down from Anna. They've taken down the Omni Knight. Three dead. Once again on C. Secret OG winning fight after fight. Even if they're not getting the cores here, they're of course just instantly going right in towards objectives now for OG with the healing ward. They just hop on in here. They have the sentry down for the trap. My secret's and coming over. Do they dare? They have the blink from Niji. Yeah, they're going to fight well, this. He's immediately in. He's deleted the players. The Absol's already gone out of the fight. The Root's going to be flying over there towards the Ember mid -bomb. He's able to keep himself out of the range of the Blade Fury. OG, though, stacing onwards. Anna's going to come in with a wraparound. The disarm's there on Tanisha. He's got to back up for now. Root sounds his eyes side. Just managed to dunk down Seb. They've killed off the Magnus. Jump in for Nisha. He's trying to blast the Basochka. The ice pass laid down. Nisha, he's jumped in potential death, and he has. He's out of the fight. Nisha's dead for 50 seconds. Anna now turns his attention towards Zai. Puppy looking to heal him up, but the Blade Fury from Anna allows him to get out of the harm's way. Mibon has the root onto Topson, but Topson, Avalanche onto Mibon, tosses him back into the hands of the rest of his team. He's got a slider fist. He does doesn't have any remnants left out. He gets right click down. Sokska Zai? takes him out. Zai jumps in. He wants to feed as well. Step skewers forward, slows him down. Topson's in with a combo. Zai's dead and gone. And over with the Blade Fury. They'll now turn towards Poppy. Poppy's trying to get away, but the ice pass. Sokska traps him up. He will be able to get up to the high ground. OG, do they want to dive any further? They won't. There's a hex out. They'll back right. off for now. But each of these fights, OG just coming out on top again and again. Uh, it, it, right I mean, exactly. You know, it's this hero that's got the same farm as Anna's Jug, but he's doing nothing in the fights because of Jerax. And now Roshan going down. OG smoked up, making sure they get the prime position around the pit to play with the counter plays. Mid one looks to lead in with the chains onto Seb on the back lines already. Look who's jumped in. Straight onto the back side. Tops and he's trying to burst down Yapsa. Yapsa will survive. Seb post the RP. It's only, only a puppy. puppy. It's not necessarily a, a huge one here for OG, but still that fight on. Nice GA. Puppy able to limit a huge amount of the damage output from Anna, but still Yapsa will fall. Topson's back in with the jump on a puppy. He's able to get away with the Heavenly Grace though. Ice pass. Soshka again trapping them up, blocking the fights, making it's so hard for Secret to get together. They've lost two. Thompson's in with a the jump. They're chasing down Nisha. Nisha's trying to hide in the trees. The avalanche from Thompson clipping him. Can he get out of oh, this? Ice path again, forcing him to turn back. Toss is there. He's surrounded. Puppy cannot help him. Nisha dies. They just lose hero after hero. Whilst OG stay alive as five. They can back up to the pit. And uh, it is ju it's just an Aegis, you know. It's uh... Nothing too crazy, not worth losing 10 heroes over. Maybe just 8 was good. I'll see if we see some some good plays come out with it. And you say very much sort of the... Oh, she's tough. Sasha. She's so aggressive. Sasha's just the bait. I mean, that, the mid one's just dead. They just walk up and take the kill on the Ember. Yeah. As mid one, he, he's had a rough series. Game one, the Jara didn't look too hot and... He can just sit here. Healing Ward, he's got the spin too if he wants. Try and drag him away. Nice use of the disarm as well, making sure that Anna doesn't end up hurting himself on the blade now. Thompson's going to go in the combo. 
keep them forced back. They're taking the tier three tower. They're going to get it. That's the tier three down to 25 minutes in. Ice path as well. Catches out mid one. Will manage to remnant away. He's constant heals from Jerex, keeping Anna in perfect fighting shape. As there's a jump again, Zai. This time trying to drag in Seb. Nice oh, path will be one. off the mark. They'll get the stun out from Yap, sort of hold back. Oh, Seb, Seb, Seb X with a false promise. As Jarex makes sure the Seb stays alive, Topson in with the jump, mid one has to remnant back. Being burst very low by the tiny combo. As Anna now starts to focus on the barracks. He has that Aegis for two and a half minutes. Zai goes in, blade mail combo. They should be able to kill him the once they do. They'll get the Aegis out of the hands of Anna. Oh, Secret are playing so well here. They're dancing like ballerinas, Topson. but I think they're getting crushed. Straight in on the back lines. There's the three-man avalanche. She's going to head back with the Blade Fury. GA's going to be used, but now Seb tries to get in. Looks for the RP, but the Insta Hex is there from Yapzor. He's out of mana as well. Cannot get the RP off. Seb's in trouble. He's gone. They'll get Seb. Now they'll look for more. The Ice Path, though. Shokshka gets the three of them, and now the Omni Slash bouncing around them all. It's killing them off. Puppy trying to get away, but Anna's got the damage. Two dead, three dead. Buyback straight away from Puppy. He's teeping in towards the Rax. Shokshka will be able to hold him out and allow Anna to get out with the Blade Fury TP. There's oh, OG yeah, they've just got to try and get it. out of there. He goes for the TP out, but they have the damage. Nisha will find it. So Secret will be able to defend those racks and push OG back. Very impressive stuff, but of course, Thompson just kind of waiting for his perfect moment to hop on in there. And uh, good job getting Seb down there, at the very least, after his buyback earlier. As Thompson closes in on his Aghanim Scepter, just about 1k away. Zai. He's going to get a good few spins off here. What's the blade mount? more. Topson's getting hurt pretty bad. Soshka's there. Can he help out? He has the ice path. Lang Topson to get a little bit farther away, but they have the control. Hex out from Yapsor. They'll punish both of them. Soshka and Topson will die for their attempts on mid. Secret get the jump off. Secret, they are smoked. Shadow but... Blade there, too, on Jerax. That's an interesting one. Yeah, no way Secret can get this in time. As OG just take the roast down far too quickly, Secret are not going to be given the opportunity to jump in. Aegis and Cheese secured by OG. And what's the call here? Just retreat completely? Maybe hope someone comes mid alone? Well, they are still hiding around here, Secret. OG, they're heading in from the low ground. Soshka's going to be the one to be turned off first. Nishi jumps for the back lines. We'll be able to two-shot down Jarex. Jarex buys back immediately. Soshka with a combo. The ice path. It causes issues for Zai. Zai is dead. A second buyback comes out from Soshka. They're throwing everything into this fight. Zai is bought back as well, but Puppy critted down by Anna. There's two dead on dead Secret one. that haven't opted to buy back. Both Yapsa and Puppy deciding that this fight is over. Ready to help them fall straight down mid. They still have that Aegis picked up by Anna to work with. Now another buyback. Puppy realizes that he's needed for the defense. Has the GA ready to go. Topson tries to get a quick pick as he jumps past the racks. Anna focusing the structures. And there are the trees, but only a few on the high ground to work with. And we'll see mid one. He's leading in. The taunt from Zai will be able to peel Anna far away from his teammates. He makes the run back towards them, looks towards mid one. And Remnant's there ready for him to jump back towards the safety of the tier fours. Fortification out from Secret, but this mid melee Rax looking to go down. Topson jumping in towards Nisha. Nisha able to get up with the refraction. Blink Seb in with the RP. Oh, he He's caught out mid one. Mid one dragged back. Mid one's dead. Has buyback available. May have to use it and will do so. Wants to get back in this fight. Is OG there diving? Thompson is so protected though, holding cheese, holding on to uh, the help there from the False Promise, and Jarex just lurking in the back. And mid one's in, he's got to be careful, he did buy back for this one, Ice Path off the mark from Soshka, jumping from Thompson, has the combo, not enough damage to kill off Sai, Instant Hex comes out from Yap, so Thompson's on his way back out, he's out of mana. And future drafts against them, because OG continuing this lead, they're up to the high ground, they're looking for another set of racks, only 10 seconds left on the Aegis. They'll have to play with that in mind, Anna. Right. Wants to commit and will be able to do so and get the racks before the Aegis is gone. Trying to commit, but the Micro's there with a the healing ward. Jeez, from our perspective, he's actually so alone. Like, he, he probably could have died there. But for Secret, of course, they're not going to know just how far away some of those resources were for him. I mean, Anna's in again. Every use of this Blade Fury being used to safely cover himself as he hits the tower. Zai will get the drag back with the Berserker's call. False Promise reaches there from Jax. Make sure they can't be burst. Jer Sep on the back. He gets the two of them with the RP. Drag back into the Omni Slash. Oh, They're beautiful. gonna get the three of them. Thompson makes the jump as well at the same time. There'll be a buyback for Nisha, but Zai and Puppy are dead for 70 seconds, and their buybacks are still on cooldown. They want Megas. They cannot come back to defend this. Oh, gee. Just standing forward. They've got the Megas. Topson's in. He's on top of Yapsor. I don't see any coming back from Secret no, from this position. The TA. trees are out. Yapsor taken down by the Ags Tiny. There's a buyback from Yapsor 50 seconds before Secret's going to have the full roster back up. As OG absolutely doing it. We'll see Nisha. Yapsor 
They'll get a true catch in the middle lane, but there's so much back up here, Sep, with the skewer apart, separating him from Thompson. Thompson's fine. In fact, Thompson, he's straight back in, tosses Nisha back on towards mid one. Nisha will turn to try and get the damage up, but Jerax disarms the TA. Nisha, he's got nothing to offer. They're chasing him down. He's surrounded. Another toss from Thompson. Nisha's dead. Two minutes, no buyback. Mid one, he's dancing around. The roost there from Jerax. Ember Spirit caught in place. Anna's there with a the chase. GG is called an OG takedown team secret out of the major. Two to zero. The smiles are out once again. Look at that. They did it. They lost no tail. Soshka standing in at the last moment. They beat EG. They turn up today. They beat secret game one. And they beat Secret again in game two. This is a team that had already secured themselves to the TI as well, just from the earlier news, right? Like, they, they're not even... The lower expectations, sometimes that's what empowers you. I mean, that's what they said about TI. It was kind of... It's very freeing to maybe not have the same expectations that might be expected or that you're used to in the past, and you just feel like... You're just playing Dota. I mean, these guys, these were two games of just playing Dota. You could tell in both games how much fun they were having. And of course, OG very vocal with their chat wheels, but even the play styles. I mean, a little bit unorthodox in some of the builds.